a lot of times you have an equation, like some of us, a lot of people sometimes when the horse on goes, I know physics, I'm good at physics, what do you know? E equals MC squared. A lot of people know that equation. They don't know what it means. But they know that equation, E equals MC squared, okay? Given that equation, you don't have to know what that equation represent. You're not Einstein, so don't worry about it. If I say, can you solve this? Solve it for, or solve for M. Instead of solve it, solve for M. I don't know, I have the it there. Do I have an eraser here? I do. Can you solve this for M? Sure. What do we have here? Addition, multiplication, division, what is it? Multiplication, when you have multiplication, what do you do? Divide. So M is equal to what? E divided by C squared. Anyone took chemistry? You have this equation probably. P times V equals N times R times T. Capital N, there's also one N small r times T. And let's say I want to solve for N. Capital N. the number of molecules. Small n is number of moles. Again, what you see there is what? Multiplications. So to get rid of r and t on this side, I gotta divide this side by what? r and t. And if I divide this side by r and t, I gotta divide this side by r and t. So n, the number of molecules here equals P times V divided by R times T. What's the area of a circle? Anyone? Pi R squared. Let's say I want to solve it for R. So you have these equations that we use in different fields, but I'm looking for something else. I'm not looking for the area. I know the area. Can you tell me what R is? So what do we do to solve for R here? We need to divide both sides by what? Pi. But I don't want R squared, I want one R. So what do we do to get R? Square root. Square root. Let me try another one, color more. And I have no idea what these equations represent. And I don't need to know. Solve for V zero. If you're curious about this, this is actually if you have a sphere, a metal sphere, 
and you heat it, what will happen to it? It gets bigger. So that's the equation will tell you what the new volume will be. That's the original volume, and that's the change based on the temperature. How much bigger it's going to be. But you don't have to know that. Who cares? So if I'm looking for V0, notice V0 shows up in both of these. So how would I isolate that? How would you isolate it? The only thing you can do is what? Factor V0 out. If you factor V0 out of that side, what do you have? 1 plus beta times T. So V equals V0 times 1 plus beta T. I want to solve for V0. That's V0 times. What's the opposite to multiplications? Division. A little more examples, then we're done. Another equation again 2p plus dv squared equals 2d times c minus w, and I want to solve it for w. So 2p plus dv squared, when I distribute that one, I'm going to have what? 2dc minus 2dw. And the only one that has w in it is the last one. Normally, you want to isolate that variable you're solving for, meaning what? If you're looking for a W, any variable that has W, you want to put them on one side. The rest on the opposite side. So I need to bring this one to this side to isolate the W term. And if you want to solve for W, we're going to divide both sides by what? Negative 2D, right? Now, I'm not a fan of putting the minus on the bottom, so I'll move the minus to the front. I'll put it right next to the fraction. So it's going to be 2P plus DV squared minus 2DC all of that is equal to W. And I'll finish it with the fraction. The next one. I'll put a fraction in it, and that'll be it. I know you had enough. I had enough. I had enough of you guys. This room started to grow on me, like, oh, I come in 8 o'clock in the morning to it. I stay till 1, like, oh. Uh, let's take this one. Let's put a fraction. P equals. V1 times, again, I could care less what these equations represent. G times K. Solve for V2. Uh, 
Again, I'm not a fan of fractions. Quickly get rid of them. How? We're going to multiply both sides by what? GK. If you multiply by GK, this is gone. So G K P equals V1 times V2 minus V1. What's V1 times V2? V1, V2. What's V1 times V1? V1 square. We are looking for V2. The only one that has V2 is this one. So I need to take this one to this side. Always isolate the variable you're solving for. This becomes plus v1 squared equals v1 v2. And to solve for v2, we need to divide this side by what? v1 v1. So v2 equals j k p plus v1 squared over v1. Again, we see these equations in different classes. Not these particular equation, but we see an equation, you want to solve it for something else. And that's what we're showing you. Instead of going Celsius equals, to find the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit, you go 9 over 5 times Celsius plus 32. What about if you want to solve it for C instead of F? So that's why we have to go over the stuff.